We're gonna walk up and down this little tiny creek that is actually filled with alligators. Oh, look at all the little fish right there. There's a fish in here. <gasps> what the heck is that? It's like a rainbow fish. We did see an alligator like 10 feet that way. Come on. Oh, oh my God, we got one. That's the biggest grommy I've ever caught. I think I just saw one of these axolotls. I think I got him. I got him. Look at the red crawfish on the outside of it. Oh, there's so many fish in there. <gasps> Another one. Welcome back to another awesome video guys today we're gonna be exploring a tiny creek filled with alligators and some really cool fish and we're on the hunt for something really cool something we haven't caught in a very long time for my aquarium today guys now we're back at a spot we've only been to twice before i'm pretty sure but it is loaded with fish however it holds something we've never caught anywhere else before and that is an axolotl okay the elusive axolotls they sell them in pet stores all the time people love them and we've caught them here before it all started a few months back when i met a subscriber and he actually showed me a picture it was like hey i caught this in the florida everglades i don't know what it is you met a subscriber hey luis how are you guys show him what you caught Oh my God. Right. And it looked just like an axolotl, like a half fish, half lizard sort of thing. So he gave me the spot. I came here and we actually ended up catching one. It's like a half fish, half lizard right there. And I had no idea what it was. Cause I was like, there's no way this is an axolotl, but I just caught one in the middle of the Everglades. And you guys said it was actually a salamander larvae. And that's actually just what axolotls are. They're just larvae of salamanders. So one day they will turn into the salamanders. And we caught them here in the past. We've caught two or three, I think before, but we've never kept them long enough to see what they actually turn into you know what kind of salamander are they so we're back today and we got nets we got fish traps we've never placed a fish trap here before so we're trying something a little bit different to try and catch one of these you know axolotls and we're gonna walk up and down this little tiny creek that is actually filled with alligators snakes bobcats panthers bears alligators all this stuff that you don't want to mess with is here okay middle of the everglades it's pretty sketchy but it is worth it once we catch these fish there's some really cool stuff here you know there's garamis there's really cool crawfish some cool cichlids we've seen big snake carrots here before so you never know what you're gonna get we're gonna be doing a little more exploring today guys to see what we can find main goal though is axolotls i will take some garamis too i love those things and if we do catch one of these little half lizard half fish crazy looking things we have an aquarium set up for it okay we have a little setup and we're gonna bring it back to put in there to see what it turns into it's gonna be really fun guys so stick around and yeah let's explore more of this spot and see what we can find all right we're gonna venture off this way a little bit this is the deepest pocket over here we just rolled up we saw a big turtle over here so i don't know what that was and actually guys just a little further down this creek when we first pulled up here we saw a massive alligator okay that thing had to be 10 feet long that's a big gator and it was like right here where we're standing. So gotta be a little bit careful, but you know what? The reward outweighs the risk, I think, in my personal opinion. So we just gotta be a little bit careful. Let's go over here, net around, see what we can catch. This spot, oh, look at all the little fish right there. What were those? Did I get them? Nope, then again, they were really small. Oh, this creek is so cool, guys. I literally feel like I'm in like the Amazon right now, like the jungle. So many little fish right here. Oh, there's the big turtle. Oh, he's huge. He's right down there. Oh, <gasps> Ellie. That was a grommy right on top. No, he's too far. I just saw a grommy. Oh, that's so exciting. We have to catch one. There is a turtle down here. I don't know what kind it is, but I'll try and net him up. Come here, buddy. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this thing. He's huge. Oh my gosh, that is a big turtle. Whoa, he's pretty. He's got like a red shell. What's up, buddy? All right, that's not what we're looking for, but we will take him. He's pretty cool. Well, we're not, I mean, we're not gonna, we're not gonna take him home. It's probably illegal. So we'll just, we'll just put him back. <gasps> right there. There's a whole school of them. Whole school grommy. I gotta sneak up on him. Oh, please tell me. Oh my God, I think I got him. Did I get him? There's so many fish in here. Oh no, they're just mollies. Yeah, these are just mollies. Oh, I thought they were garamis. I could have sworn they were. Maybe there was some in the mix, but these are just wild mollies. <gasps> oh, there's a crawfish too. I'll check that out. I didn't even see this guy. A little crawfish. Wow, we're catching a lot of stuff already. It was like the second scoop. Beautiful. All right, bunch of mollies. Oh my God, I thought that was another garami. <laughs> we're just gonna chuck these guys back. We don't want them. This is definitely where we're gonna place the fish trap, but we're gonna net around a little bit, see if we can catch doing that. But eventually I will place my fish trap here. I think this is the perfect spot for it. Woo, it's very exciting guys. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm sinking. Look, it gets pretty. Oh, ow! It gets pretty sinky here. Oh, I like these ledges. That's where these fish are going to be. And axolotls. All right, I'm already getting a little bit distracted. Main goal is axolotls, but I, I do want garamis as well. We'll see if we can get both. Hey, that would be ideal. I'm sinking big time. 
Oh my god. Uh, I can't move. Oh, there's a bunch of fish over here. Let's see if I can get over there. Ah! Oh, sh ah! oh my god. Ah! Oh, Jesus. All right, well, now I'm really dirty. All right, I'm out of here. We're going back this way. All right, now we've traveled the other way down the creek. Now this is actually more towards where we saw the big alligator. So either way, we're kind of screwed. Uh, oh yeah. Whoa, oh, is that? Oh, it's another crawfish, check this out. Whoa, look at the colors on him. He's like kind of green, you see that? Little morph right there. I did say we catch cool crawfish here. You know what? We're gonna start keeping all the crawfish we catch. See how many we can get. We got the first keeper, just a normal crawfish, but we're getting it started. There he goes, we're bringing him home. I'm sure you guys can tell how hot it is here in Florida. It's been five minutes, I'm already drenched in sweat, out of breath. Oh, oh God, why am I sinking so much? What is that? Oh my gosh, there's a fish in here. <gasps> it's like a, some sort of cichlid or something. It looks like a jewel cichlid, but like cooler. It's like a little cichlid looking guy. Wow, he's got like blue eyes. He's just like me. Oh, look at his tail too. He's got like a really long tail. Hey, relax. Look at his tail. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Comment if you know what kind of fish that is. Definitely going in the cichlid pond. That's a beautiful cichlid. There he goes. Not what we're after, but we didn't even know they were here. So we're just catching cool stuff. Ah! Oh my, who was that? Oh, it's a crawfish. He just pinched my foot. Did you see that? It's a big one. He's lurking around in the mud. He literally bit me or pinched me. I don't know. He's got some big claws on. All right, well, thank you. You're going in a bucket. I wish I had shoes now. That really hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh my. There's a water bug too. Why am I barefoot in this? Look at that, that's a water bug. Okay, if one of those bites me, if I get bit by a water bug, the video is ending right there. Oh my God, I'm sinking again. Okay, they get a good net right there. Oh, another crawfish, look at that. Okay, that's a third one. All right, you know what guys, we decided we're gonna place the fish trap up here where we caught that turtle. That's where like all the fish are. There's not much down there. It's just way too shallow. Now I'm really excited for this. Like I said, we've never placed a fish trap in here, but we could catch something really cool. Now, I just remembered we should leave like half of the trap out of water because I'm pretty sure gouramis and axolotls both come up for air. So if this was like fully submerged, like right there, they would drown, okay? So I think if we go like this and leave it kind of like half out of the water, I think that should be good. Fish trap is set guys, but for now we're gonna do a little more netting, but I think this right here is gonna be the key to success today. And yeah, hopefully we catch one of these elusive half fish, half water axolotls. Here we go. Half fish, half water? <laughs> half fish, half, what is it? Lizard? Lizard. <laughs> half fish, half lizard. Axolot, oh my God. I, <laughs> yeah, the heat's getting to me guys. All right, I think I'm gonna head up in there, that little cove. It's a little sketchy, but I think that's where these gouramis and these little axolot. Oh my Jesus. Look, look at those fish. Those are definitely gouramis. Okay, I'm getting in there. They were right here. Oh my God, there they are. Ugh. Oh, it's so hard. It's really thick back here. Oh, oh that was a good net. Oh, there was a snakehead too. Oh, and there's an animal. Ugh. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Way, dude, you've got to be it's huge. Look at this thing! Oh my gosh, there were so many back there. He's huge, it's literally the size of my hand. You guys, do you see that? That's the biggest gourami I've ever caught. I think this one's called like a three spot or like a blue gourami. Oh, they're such cool fish! They're labyrinth fish, they come up and they breathe oxygen. That's why half of our fish trap is out of water. There were so many fish back there. I heard like a snakehead pop too. Look at that thing, it's very interesting because I think he's so old that his colors are like a little bit duller than usual. Oh, that's so cool, watch, he'll come up for air. Oh, here he comes, boom, I called it. Did you see that? I'm gonna head back in there in that little cove. That is the honey hole. We'll see what else we can pull out of there. Oh, so many fish. I'm gonna net up under this ledge again. Ugh. What is this? Oh, another crawfish, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's like what, our fourth one? They're loaded in the spot. Haven't caught one of those red ones. We caught a red here last time. Actually, Helen behind the camera, she caught it. And uh, we named her Janice. So maybe we'll catch like Janet's cousin. My Michael, her Ma brother. Michael, okay. And the buggy he goes. Did you get it? Get what? Janet and Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. I see it now. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're all back there. There's so many fish back there, you guys. If only I had a net with a handle. I mean, look at this. Is this for real? Because I'm going to be honest. I, I honestly, I don't want to get in this water. We did see an alligator like... 10 feet that way. What if we just sit here? I'll hide in the bush, right? Hey, I got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Look at all of them. There's so many fish. Here they come, here they come. Ah, no! Oh, I think I spooked them. Yeah, I died. Oh my, what is this? I did get them, and a crawfish. What the heck is that? It's like a rainbow fish. It's so colorful. That's not what I saw. I was going after the gouramis. What the heck is that, you guys? 
It's like red, yellow, blue, green, orange. I've never caught one of those before. That's really cool. And we also got this, another freaking crawfish. Ow! <laughs> he pinched me. You're going back. We don't want you. I didn't even know those were in here. I, I, I've never seen that before. There you go, buddy. Yeah, give me some water. It's literally like 110 degrees. Oh! <laughs> hey! Please like this video. One million likes. <laughs> One million likes and we'll, we'll post another video. Check this out guys, on the other side of this little tiny creek here, there's little pockets of water, like little puddles, and there's actually fish in them. I see little ripples. We'll see, I could probably grab it with my hands if I see one. Look at this. Look at that, there's like a baby on a big one. Look at that, two apple snails right there. Oh, there's a big puddle over here. Oh, no way, no way, hold on, come here. Where'd it go? I swear I just saw one. It looked like a lizard, but he was in the water. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a water bug. That's not what I saw, I swear. Tell me if you see anything moving. I think I just saw one of these axolotls. Where did it go? It was really tiny. Oh, Helen, right here. Is that it? Oh, oh my God, that's one right there. He's under the log. Check this out, you guys. We're gonna lift this log up. Oh my God, he's right there. Come here, buddy. Come here. I think I got him. I got him. Oh my God, I got him. Look at this thing. It's a baby. Dude, I've never seen one that small. That is freaking nuts, you guys. We got one. That is not where I was expecting to get one, dude. But that makes sense. They do require, you know, half land, shallow water. So when they do turn into these salamanders, they could just walk up on land and boom, they're good to go. Let's get them in a bucket, guys. We're definitely bringing them back. This is crazy. We got one, guys. Go down there and leave a like. We freaking did it. What should we name them, guys? Comment down below. Just a little baby. I think it's the smallest one I've ever seen. You guys might be wondering what happened to the previous axolotls. Now, after I learned that they do need half land, half water, I put them in my mini pond because that's the perfect habit tap for them so anything in the water could actually go up onto the land so i put them in there and they were in there for months and then they disappeared i have a feeling they turned into the salamanders and they were out of there so that's really cool and yeah we're gonna do the same exact thing with this little guy and see if we can turn him into one of these little lizards i'm really tired we're gonna take a little bit of a break before we check the fish trap and hopefully we catch some really cool stuff in there we're already off to an insane start we got a garami we got a cool sickly we got one of these little axolotls so we're gonna give it like an hour or two come back check the fish trap over there and see what we caught guys go down there leave a like for good luck and yeah, we'll see you then. All right, you guys, it's been two hours and we're back here in the Florida Everglades to check our fish trap. It's still there. An alligator didn't drag it off. That's always a good sign. And it's still hanging a little bit out of water. So if we did catch ourselves an axolotl or a garami, they should be alive. We shouldn't have any casualties. So I'm very excited, guys. Let's go down there, pull it up, and see what all we caught. Here we go. We got a brand new bucket here. We got all the catches from previously and another bucket on an aerator. Oh my God, look at, look at the red crawfish on the outside of it. He's not even in the trap right now. Here, I gotta grab him. I think I got him. Oh, Owie pinched me. Look at that. Dude, we just grabbed him. He was on the outside. That's Michael. We caught Michael. <laughs> I don't know how bad the glare is, but he was all. <gasps> Can you see those? Are you able to see in the trap? There's two giant garamis like coming up for air right there. The trap looks loaded. You Oh, my bucket's flying away from me. Dude, this is insane. There's so many fish in that trap. In the bucket, boom, Michael. We got Michael. All right, let's pick up this trap, see what else we caught. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Whoa, there's so many fish. Look at it sagging. Oh, there's so many fish in there. Another one. Wait, another red crawfish. Oh, another garami. Okay, all right, we gotta go. There's so many fish in here, dude. All right, we're in the canal. I wanna keep the trap half submerged in the water just cause I think there's a lot of fish in there. I don't want any of them to like die. What is this? You've gotta be kidding me. You've literally gotta be kidding me. It's a Jack Dempsey. I didn't know they were here either. That's a decent sized one too. I caught another one about the same size as this the other day. So they're out in full force. They're breeding like crazy here. There's two massive garamis. No way. Oh, look how fat the gold one is. A gold and a blue. That is so perfect, you guys. That one's chunky. He's eating good. This is so cool, you guys. This spot is loaded. Is that another one? I think it's another Jack Dempsey, you guys. Oh, a crawfish. I mean, look at this. I just got... Look at that. Two more little baby. Oh my gosh, so many crawfish. Look at, there's like 10 right there. I've never seen that many crawfish ever in my life. Yeah, that's another Jack Dempsey, you guys. No way, I had no idea they were here. What else? Yes, tell me if you guys can see that. He's in this corner. It's another mutant. It's a half fish, half lizard right there. Little axolotl. It's actually huge. It's way bigger than the little guy we caught earlier. That is the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, that's gotta be turning into a salamander soon. He kind of looks more like a lizard. Like you can see it in his head. He doesn't really look like a normal axolotl. She's so cute though. Look how cool that is. Look at it right there. If we put him in the water, you'll see his gills. Look how cool that is. Their gills come out. Oh my gosh, there's literally, oh, he just took a breath right there. She's so cute. We're definitely bringing her home. Oh, that is freaking awesome, guys. This trap worked perfectly. More crawfish. Oh, and we got another, what the heck? What is that? 
there's some weird looking fish in there. Let me get this crawfish out real quick. Wow, that's a big daddy right there. Oh, I don't want to get pinched by that. All right, you're going in the bucket. Don't touch the axolotl. I don't know what to do, guys. There's so many fish. Look at Jewel Cichlid. We'll throw him back. He's cool. I think I've caught stuff like this before, but this one's literally massive look at that i don't know what that is i recognize the shape and the actual like fish itself i've definitely caught something like this before all right he's going to the boat you guys are gonna have to help me identify that one as well <gasps> whoa look at this look at this little baby plinko oh that's so cute i haven't caught one that small in a long time dude this trap look at how many crawfish are in here oh my gosh this is unreal oh look, there's a big one right here it's a gator is he coming this way Oh, I think I see him. He's coming this way. Uh-oh. Well, we better hurry this fish wrap up because there's a gator coming down here. Let's empty out the rest of the fish. Go back. We always catch the most fish in the traps, and uh, that just proves it right there. I mean, look at this bucket just from the traps. Two giant red crawfish, a million normal ones, an axolotl, two Jack Dempsey's, two big Aramis. That's crazy, though, guys. We're going to head home now. If you want to see another video here, go down there and let me know. For now, we're going to head back and get all the keepers into their new homes. Here we go. All right, you guys, we have made it back to my house, and we're starting things off here at the Black Mist. Tub. We already have a bunch of Garamis in here. I see them all the time. They do really good. This one is massive. We got three in total. You guys can hear the fireworks going off. It's 4th of July. This one's huge. I've never seen a gold one that big. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because like Everglades, there's so much food for them, but I've never seen them this big. There you go, buddy. That is so cool. Third one going in. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Big Jack Dempsey. I love adding Jack Dempsey's in here because they get massive. There goes one. We also got a little baby Placo we'll add in here. There he goes. And there's the second Jack Dempsey. There he goes. <laughs> Final fish we're adding to the Black Mystery Tub is this guy. I don't know what this is, but there he goes. You guys are gonna have to help me out and identify that in the comments. And we actually caught two giant red ones we're gonna be adding here. We got a lot of red ones in here now. Hopefully they do breed. I think both these guys are males. All right, now we do have this guy right here. I think this is some sort of African cichlid. I don't know what kind, but it looks like one to me. So we're gonna go ahead and add him to the cichlid pond. There he goes, beautiful. Look at the long tail on him. All right, check it out guys. Jesus, I'm trying to film a video here. Check this out guys. These are all the normal crawfish we caught. We got a lot in here, so we're actually gonna add them to the Matamata Turtle Pond. This is kind of like a bait breeding zone. We got convict cichlids in here, mollies in here, and they're all breeding rapidly. I actually fed the vampire fish a molly the other night and it actually destroyed it. I'll roll the clip right now. So it's really good to actually be able to farm the bait here to use for all my fish. Now we do have one little fish we're gonna add to the mini pond, and then we got two of those guys, the little axolotls we're gonna put into our aquarium. Here we go. Check this out. This fish is so cool. It's so perfect for the mini pond. Tiny and colorful. There he goes. All right, guys, check it out. We're here inside. Now, what I did, all right, we're limited on space with aquariums because the fish room is not done yet. That will be soon. Once it's done, we will have a tank in there for the axolotls. But for now, I want to keep them in a spot where I could see them and, you know, monitor them. So I set this up. It's just like a little plastic bin with holes all around it. I set up like a little rock there in case they want to turn into a salamander. <laughs> they could do it. I doubt they will, though. This is only temporary for a few days. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get them in there. I and mean, look at the size difference. This one is so tiny. There you go. Mr. Axolotl. Oh, he's so cute. Look at them down there. Look at their gills. Oh, they're so cool. Coming up for air. Boom. Oh my gosh. This one is freaking massive. Now this guy looks like he will turn into a lizard soon. So that's why we have the rock in there. Oh, she's so cool. Check that out. There's the second Axolotl. I moved the rock there so they don't get stuck in between it. Look at them go. They're so cool, guys. I'm down two names for our new pet Axolotls. 